This is where I left your friend. Okay, well, do you know which way you went after you... <laughs> I really wish he'd stop doing that. <laughs> do you know which way Fletcher went? <laughs> These must be his tracks. I'm pretty sure Fletcher has more than three toes. Well, maybe two of them got eaten by a moose. There are no moose in the outback. They're native to the northern hemisphere. And we're in the... Southern hemisphere. Right. Shouldn't you know this stuff? Wait, well, yeah, um, I do. If it's in the script. But you're in the Australian ant program. You're a prodigy. Yes, an acting prodigy. What? But you let us to believe you knew how to survive in the wilderness. Yes, as I said, acting prodigy. <laughs> I just play Tasmanian Nibble on TV. My real name is Barry Fagenbaum. But Tasmanian Fagenbaum didn't have quite the same ring to it. Well, that would have been a good thing to tell us before we followed you out into the middle of a snake-infested desert. There's snakes out here. <laughs> We're all gonna starve to death and die. <laughs> I'm the star of a wilderness survival show. If I die out here, people will mock me on the message boards. <laughs> Just relax. Someone will come looking for us. It's Fletcher I'm worried about. I have an idea. How about we play the who should we eat first game and then not make it a game? Don't worry. We won't starve. We could hunt for one of those kookaburra birds with this boomerang I made. <laughs> okay. Here it goes. Wait! What if you miss? Don't worry. The angle of the boomerang's airfoil wings creates aerodynamic forces that curve its trajectory, making it travel an elliptical path and return to its point of origin. <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay, forget food. The desert. It gets cold at night. It does? That's crazy. <laughs> Maybe we can start a fire by banging these two rocks together. Oh. <laughs> those aren't rocks, those are emu eggs. <laughs> What's an emu? It just sounds funny. Emu. <laughs> The emu is a soft feathered brown flightless bird that, despite its kindly appearance, can tear the flesh off a human when angered. <laughs> a little bird can do that? Oh, they're not little, they're about this tall. <laughs> This isn't emu yolk. This is 